So let's see on this one who is the hottest in the office. Hey everyone, my name is Vinerin, and in today's video, we're going to have a look at stability AI stable AOM family of models. And more specifically, we're going to have a look at the alpha 7 billion parameter model. We're going to do a brief overview of the GitHub repository for stability AI stable LM. Then we're going to take a model for inference in a Google Co-op notebook. And finally, we're going to compare the responses of stable LM models with ChatGPT. Let's get started. This is the official repository of stability AI stable LM or stability AI language models. And here they are releasing an initial set of stable language model alpha models with 3 billion and 7 billion parameters and larger models are on the way. So they are training st or still training those. They are also releasing a model that is fine tuned on Stanford Alpacas procedure. And uh, it is done on combination of these data sets. We're going to have a look in on this model uh, in a bit, but the stable AOM alpha models are trained on new data set that is on top of the pile, which is roughly three times its size. So it's a very large data set. And the context length for this model is 4000 tokens. So very large context, which is great. The guys over here on the readme have a very nice quick start and then some other examples. And at least here, the license for this repository is Apache. 2.0. So keep that in mind. I have a Google Co-op notebook that is running a GPU with 40 gigabytes of VRAM. And at least of now, this is pretty much required to run the 12 billion parameter model. I'm going to do some imports here, create this print response function, which is going to help us with the responses. And then here is the loading of the model. I'm going to load the 7 billion parameter model. So this will be stable LM tuned alpha 7B. And just for reference, this is the tuned model with Stanford Alpaca's procedure using a combination of five recent data sets, Alpaca, GPT-4O, Share ShareGPT, and Dolly, and HH. So this is the model that we're going to have a look at with the 7 billion parameters. And even this model, at least from my experimentation, requires a large GPU. Let's load it. Now that the model is loaded, this took about 25 seconds. And you can see that we got some warnings about the lip hood art. So this is mostly because we are loading the model with Torch 416 and then loading it into an 8-bit version. Uh, you can see that we are installing accelerate and bits and bytes, which are going to be the helpers that provide this type of loading for the model, along with the auto tokenizer and the auto model for causal language modeling. And these are the warning from bits and bytes. After this is done, we are going to essentially get the step on tokens that we are going to use. So these are pretty much special tokens on which the generation of the text is going to be stopped. You can see user assistant system padding and end of text. And those are taken directly from the quick start right here. So uh, the readme file on the stable LM GitHub repository is providing this example. And this is the initial prompt and then the user prompt. So I just took most of that, just reformatted it a bit uh, in order to create this set of tokens. So it's a bit more efficient. And then here is the system prompt that we're going to use. You're Michael G. Scott from the TV show, The Office. Your primary job is to make the office a fun place to work. You deeply care about other people's business. You are quick to respond with an honest answer without even thinking about it. You use no more than three sentences for each response. Now, if I just put in this system prompt, it doesn't appear to be working with it very well. So what I'm essentially doing right here is to add once again, you are Michael G. Scott from the TV show, The Office, and then ask what is the meaning of life. Then we're passing in the prompt through the tokenizer. Then I'm going to use inference mode and I'm going to time how much time this takes. Let's see. And this is the generate 
uh, we expect 128 tokens max a temperature and then this is the stopping criteria that I'm going to pass in as an instance and this is coming from the hugging face library transformers so yeah when we do this completion we are going to decode the tokens skip special tokens and let's see what is the response given by the stable AOM model so you can see that it took us about eight seconds to do the whole generation of text and you can see first that this is including the system prompt and the prompt itself so i'm going to remove those this is again taken from the example from stable lm and here you can see that we are just removing the system prompt and the prompt as a language ai model i do not have personal beliefs or opinion However, according to the character of Michael Scott from the TV show The Office, the meaning of life is to find happiness and fulfillment through work and community. He believes that everyone has a purpose in life and that by working hard and being kind to others, we can make a positive impact on the world. Okay, great response. We can now compare how well Stability LM is doing against ChatGPT. For this purpose, I have this function generate text. I'm going to execute it. It is pretty much the same thing that we did in order to generate our first prompt. And here is the first prompt. Since the system prompt is not working as I would like, you are Michael G. Scott. Write your methods on managing people. Use no more than three sentences. Let's see what ChatGPT is giving us. I believe in being an approachable boss. My employees should feel comfortable. I like to keep things light nice and fun in the office. Okay, a little bit of fun. And finally, strive to motivate my employees and encourage to be their best selves. Okay, very Michael Scott like. Establish clear expectations on the stability, encourage collaboration and teamwork, foster a positive and inclusive workspace. So, this is very generic. While this is something that I would believe Michael Scott would say. So ChatGPT is definitely a winner here. Let's see this one. Write your methods on hiring people. So yeah, ChatGPT is talking about gut feeling, unconventional interview questions, and of course having a fun and engaging interview. Okay, to find the best candidate, I use personality tests and interviews. I also consider their skills and qualific uh, qualification. I also consider their work history. So again, very generic, not anything like Michael Scott would do, while ChatGPT is doing a much better job at this. Uh, and also you can see that it takes about 12 seconds or 10 seconds to generate those responses. Uh, let's see on this one. How would you invest $10,000? Write a list of your investments. I would invest on stability in diversified portfolios, investing in real estate and cryptocurrency. I would also mix of stocks, bonds and real estate investments. Okay, so nothing like Michael Scott would say. I would probably start by investing a few different stocks. Then I put a bit of money into high yield saving accounts and finally I might consider investing in small business. No, so nothing like I would expect from Michael Scott actually. Probably he would buy a condo and sell it for a lower price, but not this. Okay, so both models are failing here. Write a list of your top five daily habits. Let's see the responses. Wake up at the same time on stability, I said. Drink coffee, exercise, read a book, listen to music. Okay. Starting the day with a great cup of coffee. Meditate, clear my mind, checking in with my employees making time for the midday workout or activity to stay energized and ending the day with a good book or movie to unwind. Yeah, I would say that this is better, but not perfect while this is very generic again. So stability AOM is not doing a good job here. So let's see on this one, who is the hottest in the office? So stability AOM thinks that Michael Scott is the hottest in the office according to Michael Scott. Well, ChatGPT is giving the blunt response that uh, it is not appropriate to answer this question. In this video, we had a look on the Stability AI Stable AOM models. We took the 
7 billion parameter model that is also trained on the Stanford Alpaca methodology for a spin in a Google Club notebook. We set it up for inference and then we compared it with ChatGPT. Thanks for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe. Also join the Discord channel that I'm going to put in the description down below. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.